Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and today we're going to be playing the Midweek Magic, and I want to kind of play some Historic Brawl, and it happens to be the Midweek Magic, so we'll test it out. Uh, this is a deck I've been playing a lot on mobile uh, while I was in between my move. I've been enjoying playing Historic Brawl with Halana and Elena Partners. This is a gruel, aggro, kind of stompy, big powerful creatures coming out. So Halana and Elena, 4 mana, 2, 3, first strike reach, bidding in of your combat. You get to put X, 1, 1 counters on target creature. Uh, on another target creature where X is uh, Halana and Alana, uh, Hala, la, 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 uh, power and toughness. They also gain haste to the end of the turn, so just really kind of maximizes your amount of damage. Um, and then we're just playing a lot of like powerful creatures. You got your like questing beast, um, spellbreaker, like we usually see, Cranko, Legion War Boss, extra combat step with combat celebrant. You know, you got Galta. Quartzwood Crasher, just a smash face, um, Tear of the Peaks, Volatile Arsonist, just like turn creatures sideways, smash hard, uh, don't give your opponent a chance uh, to kind of get out of it. Some early ramp, stuff like that, but let's take it to the to the game, we'll see how it plays. Uh, usually I, with these Brawl decks, I don't go over each card choice, play the cards you enjoy to play and kind of go from there. As always, it's kind of a casual, more fun format. So play the cards you enjoy. Like, I don't have Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt would be something I would normally include in this if I did. I don't particularly want to spend the wild card on it. Okay, so we're playing against Sarkin. Darby Dragons. Uh, hand looks pretty solid. We'll keep. So Sarkin, Wander to Shiv, making your dragons in hand perpetually cost less, as well as conjuring Shivan dragons and lightning bolting something. Opponent takes a mulligan. Hopefully this isn't mulligan mulligan. Okay, looks like we're going to have a game of magic. I'll probably lead on Magda. I don't know how controlling opponent's deck is, but... Maybe we lead on class. Magda has higher upside, but if they kill it... Ah, let's go Magda. So it looks like they have some sort of burn. Okay, speaking of lightning bolt, opponent had it. So we could have done class, we would have been left with something, but... Land on top. Rada was something I just added in now before. Um, wanted I was running into some games where we kind of stumbled on lands, so this is an aggressive way to also play lands off the top. Comparing it to something like Oracle of Moldaya, we don't need to be as big on mana, but just you know, consistently hitting your land drops. First strike's actually super relevant in this deck as well. Okay, opponent names dragons. Um I think we get this out of burn range, potentially. They could hit Halana. But 5 toughness is going to be a bit harder for them to deal with. They could have something like Soul Seer, Kind of those effects. They might just go Sarkin. But even with Sarkin, I can attack it down. This currently costs 4. So I can go Great Henge, cast Druid. Do they have a burn spell for this? Rada's guess getting close as well, just to doubling its power. All the ladies with swords. Opponents in the tank, thinking, thinking. That's fine. I've learned much from dragons. So, big boy Galta on top. Um, to be honest, so we have two lines here. I can set this up for Riot and give this haste, which I actually don't mind. But this will also get a cost reduction. Okay. Start off, 
kill you. My wings have been clipped. I th think I'm interested in getting this going. Because this will come down. We have 7 mana, it gets the cost reduction, so we can cast it for the turn. If not, we have these as backup lines. Opponent, I, I came to see dragons. Oh, okay. Technically, technically, dragon. Come on. Let me play Galta. Go, go, big dumb dinos. So I don't know how Mono Red beats a 13 power creature. Missed a couple line drops here. How many lands are we at? 36, so decent number. They go Skargan, Hellkite, a little too late on the board. Gruel Smash. What do we get? What's our reward? A useless playable. Or a useless unplayable. I like when it's these events, not those like omniscience, painful to play events. Where'd my dog go? So as always, if you're the first time tuning into the channel, I'm MTG Joe. We play mainly constructed on the, the channel uh, with Arena Cube coming. I'll be jamming a bunch of that. Um, I mean, been taking a break in December as part of a move, uh, but we will be back hopefully soon with like a, a video a day coverage. Uh, this hand looks very good. We will keep playing Oglar. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top two cards of your library, then put one of them into your graveyard. Whenever a creature card is put in your graveyard from your library or hand, it gets when it leaves, create a 2 2. So build your own Field of the Dead, some assembly required. A uh, card we've played right now Long Tusk Stalker. Uh, when it enters the battlefield or attacks, you get an energy, and then you can pay two energy. It perpetually gets a power and makes something in your hand get stronger. So we're just going to go against Mono Blue. They typically don't have removal. Um, their deck seems built around this Oglar, so... Ooh. Let's just turn creatures sideways. If they want to trade here, I'm fine. And opponent's head explodes. One, two, three. It's that easy. Here we're just kind of stomping face. Ah. Getting all the cards from Strix that I never wanted to craft. Those snarls are so bad. There was like a minute where those were relevant, and then they were gone. So we're going for cosmetic now. Get our three wins in ten minutes. Looks like we're jumping in. What's opponent on? Ooh. MTG guy. On some Muxus Granity. Um, I think this hand's fine. Not super aggressive. Maybe wrong. gonna kill that. Uh, Ginger Brute's a free cast and it lets my 
Domri block, like you could block for my Domri. Cause like next turn is gonna be Domri uptick, cast this. At the very least, this is a distraction for a turn. Pretty solid. Okay, you kill my Domri. Uh, here we'll go green with the composition of our hand. Untap. This is a bigger blocker right now. I think I need to be on blocking. Mind you, this makes... So this will have to attack to get past my Lupine. And then we'll trade here. I'd like a land, please. Okay, not quite a land, but still decent. Um, do I want a Primal Might? Probably. Because I can't really attack if I do that, so I think I'm just going to do this. Kill this. There's still two turns off Muxus. Because if I did it on here, it comes five power. They block here. I would have taken three from the fight. Okay, so they can trade with the pack leader, but I like the trample here. It's a bit more relevant. Okay, so we can be getting Muxus next turn. What the hell does this do? Racing. No attacks this turn. If we hit an untapped land. Alright, let's see how good Muxus is. Honestly, not that great. They don't have great attacks here either. So if I get a land, you can put the counters on Helana that puts the counters on Lupine afterwards. Which is really good. You can also opt to do Pack Leader and Guardian Project to draw some cards. Don't know why they'd be attacking here. Oh, can't be blocked. Okay, so it allows a creature. I need to find a land. Gargs would be great, but... Um... This can get to eight. Because this is going to go in front of Muxus. So let's just keep buffing this. I'm going to try to one shot them. I can go Gearhawk next turn. Thing we need to be mindful of is they do have this Castle Umbreth they can activate. They're probably going to crack that anyways. Okay, so block here. Block here. Block here. 
Because this gives him blockable, which could be more problematic than the Snoop. If I could kill them. So, target there. Target there. That's 10, 18, 24. Dead! Look at me. Look at me. I'm the Muxus deck now. We the real aggro. So stumbled a bit on lions, but is able to pull it out there. Can give this one more go, maybe. Add an twill. Let's give this one more. See how it goes. We got our prizes. Got a useless, useless. I think all our prizes today were garbage. But we see the power there, we 20 forward in one turn, and we missed lines multiple turns. The Gearhulk Alana plan is so good. Okay, Toski. Uh, this hand looks good. So we kind of got like a wolf, werewolf sub theme in the deck with some day night stuff. So next turn I can play this to get my red mana, play my Domri up. We got Innkeeper. Take the land. Add red mana. Only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> um, do I want to trade? Probably not. The Cobra next turn lets me go either of these. Mind you, Toski's not really going to do too much. So I can go Halana and Alana. I can foretell this. No sense of attacking this turn. Domri also being a permanent anthem. You'll have to attack opponent. I think at this point, if we lose the Cobra, we lose the Cobra. So next turn I have access to minimum five. Okay, we got Lupine Harbinger. So one, two, three. I think we want to just tear the peaks here because then it makes all my subsequent plays better. Drop 15 on them. Next turn I could just battle mammoth face them for six, and then give this haste. Big old dragon boy. Even them attack. Actually, I should probably play Uvenwald Oddity in this deck.
That seems very good. Probably better than a battle armus. Let me cast my spells! Alright. Hanalana and Elena and the Macarena kicking ass. I'm gonna wrap this up. If you do enjoy the brawl content, let me know in the comments. And as always, if you can, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. All are free and easy ways to help support the channel. Thanks for watching and have a great one.